Hi, and welcome to my ninth and last game in the Norwegian Chess Championship 2010 Class 4. I have uh, 5 out of 8 points so far. I am on 13th place out of uh, 49 participants. And in my last uh, 3 games I had 1 draw and 2 victories. And I feel kind of like I'm on a roll. I need just one more victory to kind of uh, get myself a little higher up in the standings. And my opponent is uh, Alf Gade Tolvson. And he plays for the chess club Follow. He has a rating of uh, 1178. And I do believe he's looking for a victory himself today. Now, I've been playing something called the Inverted Philidor for years and uh, placed my uh, bishop here on e2, blocking it in with the, the d-pawn here on uh, d3. During uh, these last games uh, I haven't played that defensive and uh, put my bishop here on c4 instead. But uh, with his uh, pawn move here to e6 and most likely pawn move to d5, he's not going to let me do that. I exchange pawns with him and uh, my bishop is uh, quite well placed here on uh, d3 with uh, good space on uh, the diagonals. And uh, right now we're just uh, developing our pieces. Now he has cancelled so uh, I feel it's okay to pin his knight here against his uh, queen. And if he wants to press my uh, bishop away, he's going to have to move both his uh, pawns. And he doesn't do that. What he does is he moves his uh, bishop back to uh, e7. Which is uh, what I would have done also. But in this case, he has already moved his bishop once in the opening, and it's kind of uh, a wasted move, or uh, put in another way, admitting a mistake. But it gives me a chance uh, to use a move to protect my uh, d4 pawn. And this move here to uh, d2 with my uh, knight, it's not so much to... Uh, get my knight closer to the center of the board. It's more as a prevention. If uh, he moves his knight here to a5, I'll have uh, covered these spaces here with my uh, knight here on d2. I do believe the correct move here should have been bishop to uh, e6. So he could uh, have his bishop protect this uh, pawn here on d5. And my queen move here is uh, mostly to get my uh, rooks connected and at the same time put some imaginary pressure against his uh, castle king side here. I'm uh, guessing he wants to break free here on the c file and uh, I want to dominate the e file. I'm not sure when he decided to uh, go for the c file but uh, he is wasting a few moves here. I uh, see that I might gain a pawn here and by placing my queen here on uh, b3 I am attacking his uh, b7 pawn and I'm also attacking his uh, d5 pawn. And if his bishop was placed here on e6 from the beginning it wouldn't really be that dangerous. And it's still not really that dangerous because all he has to do now is uh, place his bishop here on c6 and he protects uh, both these uh, pawns. But uh, since he's uh, still trying to break free here on the c file and get his pawn here on c7 to c5, he doesn't want to do that. And I can't really press him off the c6 square either because if I take his uh, bishop with my knight, he'll take back with the pawn that I want. So he protects his uh, b-pawn by moving it to b6 and doesn't quite see that uh, this pawn here is uh, mine. The only piece he has protecting that pawn is his uh, knight here on uh, f6 
which I um, take, and then I take the pawn. And uh, maybe his best move now should have been to place his uh, bishop here on e6 and uh, press my uh, queen off the diagonal or uh, force me to change uh, queens with him. But he is still interested in the c file and uh, this gives him a chance to move his pawn up a little bit. And I just move my uh, queen back here to uh, b3 where it has the possibility to escape to c2 if he starts attacking it. And right now I um, force an exchange of uh, bishops here. Mostly because right now um, if he moves his bishop away then I'll have a check on him here and uh, fork his uh, king and uh, rook. And if he does nothing I have uh, three pieces pointing towards his uh, bishop and he only has protection with uh, this pawn here. He takes, I take, and I'm guessing this move here with his uh, rook to c7 is either to uh, try to dominate uh, the e-file or give me a fight for it or to put his uh, queen behind his rook and uh, press forwards. I really don't see a threat from my opponent and at this time I'm uh, starting to form my own uh, plan of attack. With his uh, last move now, he is uh, putting an enormous pressure on my uh, d4 pawn. He has uh, one, two, three, four pieces attacking it. But he's uh, too late, because right now I can uh, start my own attack. And with the uh, knight takes bishop, he's in check, and he can't continue with his own attack. And I just took one of the pieces that uh, he was planning to use in his attack. And right now he's in a little bit of a dilemma, because he can't take with his rook. Because then I'll check him, and right now his queen is mine. And if he takes with his uh, g-pawn here, in the ensuing exchange here, I'll gain a pawn. And he has uh, come no further with his attack here. So he has no choice but to use his queen here. My attack isn't over yet and I exchange rooks. He can't take with his queen because it's protected by a rook. And right now he's about to lose yet another pawn. And there are so many ways to attack here that I'm actually in a little bit of a dilemma. I uh, could just exchange uh, pawns with him here and give him isolated pawns which will be very difficult to defend later on and then uh, continue by uh, forcing an exchange of queens here since he's in check and uh, now forcing him to move his uh, knight off the back rank here uh, if he doesn't want to lose it or defend it and uh, then I'll have a one endgame. But uh, what I've decided to do is uh, actually instead of exchanging queens like that take his uh, pawn here with my uh, rook. Because where is he going to go with his queen now? He's uh, in an undiscovered check here. As soon as I move my rook, he'll be in check. He could uh, move his queen here. I'll follow. He's in check. And he'll have to move his uh, queen uh, back. I'll check him again. Force his king away. And uh, right now, this is as uh, one as it can get. So after I take his uh, rook here, he decides to resign and he does not want to analyze the game afterwards. I really don't blame him. It's a classic chess attack and my easiest victory in this tournament. I end up in 10th uh, place and with this being class 4 with 49 participants and not having played a tournament since last year, I'm satisfied. But next year it's going to be class 3 and I'm going to be ready for it. Thank you for watching.